You guys, tell me if I'm being sensitive. So uh, I took Coco, the grandmother, the mother, and Izzy to dinner last night. Mm -hmm. Sensitive. Yeah, yeah, you sound like it. I'm, I sound already. sensitive already. Already. Right? Yo, change the music up. <laughs> what? Why you thought the music was making me sound sensitive? I want him to play something a little more appropriate. Some Drake. Hang on, Sean. Let me tell my story, sorry, man. Sorry, Damn, sorry. man. Come on, man. So we're all sitting there, you know, happy Mother's Day, shenanigans and, you know, pleasantries, blah, blah, blah. And the maid of D turns to Izzy and goes, one day you'll be a mother. What? She's nine months old, bro. I looked at him, I was like, she's nine months old, man. What are you talking about? <laughs> Did you say that? Yeah, what are you talking about? How old was the matron D? He was in his 60s. Why are you looking at my daughter? Like, I didn't say that, but in my mind, I'm like, why are you thinking like that about my daughter? Like, I mean, pregnant I, I, already. She just well, came out the bed. nine belly. months old, man. I doubt he meant any like anything bad by it. Am I being hypersensitive? I mean, did he add to it? Was he like... Uh, no, nah, he just kind of he's kind of awkwardly smiled and <laughs> kept it moving. Like, what else You know, one say? day, you're going to get older and develop and have <laughs> sex. Yeah. You know, make love. You know what I mean? <laughs> what are you saying, man? Then the conversation keeps going, and we hear the table next to us, and the older lady next to us, I hear her go, yeah, she's a lezer. Mm -hmm. I was what, like, what? what? A lezer? lezer? Not, I don't know what they were talking about, um, but I looked and I was like, yo, whoa, you can't just say that. That's offensive. We have Trinae the true lesbian. That's offensive, right? Yes. Super offensive, right? I'd rather lesbian. I don't want lezer. That's, That's crazy. That's super offensive. So then I asked the mother and Coco, is that offensive? Because I'd never even heard that expression right. before. Never, ever heard that expression. So they Googled it, and something came up called lesbian bed death. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I've heard about it. Trinae's laughing. Have you heard of this, Rosenberg? No. What the hell is this? It's because people say that lesbian couples that have been together for a very long time... Stop having sex. They say mm -hmm. lesbian, basically on Google, it said lesbian couples have less sex in long-term relationships than any Anyone couple. Else, yeah. And there's a term about it called lesbian bed death. Let's go to Trinae the True Lesbian. Is this a real thing? Listen, I think it's real. I don't care how old the history is because it says 1987. But I think it's real because... I experienced it. I'm only 23, but I experienced You're it. You're a child. How did you experience it already? Five-year relationship. We you didn't stop. You left and right. Oh what are you talking God. about? Wait, Laura, let the woman talk. Laura, Laura stop uh. yelling at me. Yo, Laura, yo, man. Chill, man. Let the girl talk, man. Go. Listen, five-year relationship, and we stopped having sex like a year and a half in. Mm, well. We was done. Mm. So it is real. This it's is a real. real thing. Yes. I'm sure it happens to straight couples too, guys. <laughs> Talk about it. <laughs> I'm in a, Shani, les I'm in a lesbian relationship right now. <laughs> <laughs> With Laura Stiles and Rosenberg. On Hot 97. <laughs> All right, so the conversation I wanted to have, and this is for everybody, is are you in a relationship long term? Mm -hmm. And what's the longest you went without having sex in your long term relationship? I went a month, 30 days. Oh my God! How long did oh, you go? That. I'm em I'm embarrassed to admit no, it. No, say it, say it, say it. It was like six months. Six months, it was bad. no sex. Yeah. Lesbian bed death over there. How long did you go? <laughs> no sex. S a while. Like, What's well, a give while? us a number. I would say more than two years. What? Y'all went oh more than two years and didn't have sex. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> She's embarrassed. Jeez. Shiny culture. Longest you went, no sex. Damn. What's this? 2015. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. Yo, we'll take your calls. 800 Zeke, what's going on? So, what's the longest you've been in a? What's the longest you went without having sex in a relationship? Two and a half years, bro. <laughs> Damn. Ah. Cobwebs. This says on the paper that you're a lesbian and you experienced lesbian bed death. Yes, I've been I've been with my ex for like six and a half years, and I haven't had sex in two and a half. But why? Is it is it you? Is it her? You guys don't try to like. Did, have you at least tried? That's my question. I tried. I asked why. I asked if it was me. I guess it's like old people. Once once you get a certain age, or once you get like in a no. certain spot in your uh, relationship, there's other things that that make you bump heads and collapse. Like there's no time for sex. Really. Now wait. And see, I, there, we learned today. Thank you for calling, Zeke. We learned today about this lesbian bed death thing. But Shawnee Culture, you're in a long term relationship. Rosenberg, True. you're in a long term relationship. Um, I. I went three months in this current relationship, no sex. 
You've did you've been longer than that. Yes. Wow, Rosenberg, yes. you're longest without having sex. You've been in y'all been together ten years. Y'all, you guys are making me feel great. Um, we've had we've had it go six weeks. I'd say seven weeks, maybe the worst. And Laura Styles, you said you went six months. Yeah, six months at one point. Yeah, that's how I knew it was over. <laughs> but yeah, wow. it's embarrassing, but it happens. It's real. <laughs> uh, let's go here. This is uh, Nicole. Hi. Uh, you've been in a long-term relationship. How long? Actually, we've been together for 13 years, married for three. And how long has it been since you guys had sex? Uh, it's about a year and a half. It'll be two years in October, and that'll be the last time uh, oh, we no. actually conceived to my daughter. It was 2013, October 2013. So that was <laughs> the last time we had sex. Yo, yo, she called 2013? it out here. Damn. <laughs> yes. Now, Nicole, you guys aren't going to break up. You're going to stick with this. No, no, we're good. You know, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a work in progress. You, know, you have two kids. I had Irish twins. So, you know, you just go through it, you get you get over it, and life will be back on and, track. And you know what? And you know what? I think people without kids, they don't understand. Like, you know, I think the time we went a long time was because my schedule, her breastfeeding, being tired, breast, you know, it's pumping milk. It's not sexy, man. There's nothing sexy no, about it. No, it's a lot. It's a lot. You know? People are tired, so. And I'm pretty sure people are horny, too. You do your ones and your twos. You know? Yo, but when you got a baby down the hallway screaming, you're not horny no more, man. No. You're Come, trying, everybody, you're everybody gets horny. Yo, Come on, listen, guys. Everybody gets horny until you have to put in that work and you just roll exactly. over and go to sleep. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Nicole, you better tell her. I'm telling you, it's, it's, it's a real, it's, it's, you know what? And it makes, it loves, love, the love is not long. You know, no, you, you're you know, cuddling, you're kissing, you love each other. But when you go to actually put in that extra work, you're, you're like, like, hold uh, up, let's... Hold yeah, up. Let's so. just Not take tonight. a nap. <laughs> Let's take Not a nap. Tonight. That's Maybe what you tomorrow. Well, and then if you're if you're a breastfeeding mom, you only got like two hours. So exactly. you may exactly. that sex may last a half an hour. That's a half an hour you could be sleeping. Exactly. Oh or pumping. You never know. Or pumping. There you go, Nicole. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. You're very welcome. Have a great day, guys.